K. This is for the lowbrow parts review. Um, going over a hunt mag here. Um, this mag that I got has everything on it. Has the key switch. It's polished. Um, I went and got the clear cap off of lowbrow also, um, which is just a real easy part, just to bolt on. No big, uh, no big headache there. Um, Joe Hunt mag wires. Uh, you know the mag. Big positive. Everything's in one place. Coil. Uh, condenser, er everything is just located in one place so you don't have to run a bunch of wiring. Uh, the other nice thing is of course now you know no battery so we have all this open space um, so there's no battery needed. You, know, you don't have to mount coils up under your tank or somewhere. It's, it's just you know it's, it's just nice one place unit. Um, the only cons that, that I have to this thing is is uh, there's no auto advance in a Joe Hunt um, so you know that could be a little bit tricky with starting and stuff like that. Um, it sticks out really far, so you know if you'd ever drop the bike or something, I suppose you would you could uh, you would damage the mag. Um, however, if you drop the bike, last thing I'm worried about is the mag. Uh, you know, like I said, th that's really the pros and cons to it. It's not going to fit right up. There's going to be a little bit of work. You know, you might have to modify a little bit back in here on your mounting plate. Um, to get it to fit in your timing cover well. Um, this is not just a straight bolt and go kind of thing, um, but it is fairly straightforward, you know, simple where, where the uh, average uh, garage monkey can do it. And that's Joe Hunt Mag.